Today we're going to be unboxing, trying, and reviewing the brand new G Fuel flavored Sour Shamrock, also known as Sour Green Apple. It's called Sour Shamrock because they released it as like an exclusive flavor first and now they're going to reskin it as just regular green apple. But I got the Sour Shamrock version, so that's the one we're going to be taking a look at today. What they pretty much did is they did like a special tub art for St. Patrick's Day. So that's why it was called Sour Shamrock. And it sold out really fast, like faster than I expected. So thank God I got my hands on this. I think the reskin's out now, but uh, yeah, if I didn't order it when it first dropped, I would have had to wait for the reskin. So that would have sucked. Anyway guys, let's take a look at what we got. Okay, here's some paper we can just throw away and toss to the side. We didn't get a sticker today. Uh, you might be wondering why I got a watermelon tub right here. It's because it was a buy one, get one free. So yeah, I just copped a watermelon tub, cause why not? People have been really hyping up watermelon. I got it cause, uh, well I've had it with the packets, it's all right, but like people have really been hyping it up recently. So I decided to try it again. I mean, it's watermelon. You can't not like watermelon. But here we go, guys, the flavor we are all here for today. Sour Shamrock and God, this looks amazing. I'm gonna give us like a, like a really nice close up. I don't know if you can see this right now, like this should be good. And this is the design, like they really went all out with this. Like they have the apples, the rainbows. Uh, oh, you have the gold too, like as I said, they really did go all out with this. So I'm glad I got the Sour Shamrock version because it, it just looks amazing. I definitely think compared to like some of the other tubs I have, I think this is one of like the best looking tubs. If anything, I'd say maybe top five because just the art's amazing with this. This is the best part, getting it open. I usually have to like dig my nails in and like twist around. It's so annoying, but uh it's worth it and i just lost where i was at so i have to start twisting my nails around again you gotta love the process of uh opening g fuel you know what this i'm just gonna like cut off with this like i have my little tool here so like you just like stick it in and uh i think that should be it i think we can open it now yep there we go all right let's just take the lid off we're just gonna remove the seal and see how it smells so let's do that I'm gonna do it down here because usually when I remove the seals, like they, they make a huge mess. Well, not a huge mess, but like sometimes like when you first open like that fresh G Fuel tub, you get some powder going everywhere. Not everywhere, but I, you get the point. All right, guys, let's smell it. Let's see what it smells like. Oh my God, dude. I know that smell. It went in my nose. I'm also getting like a really good golden apple pear smell. And that's why I just love this smell so much because it just smells like fresh green apples and especially golden apple pear. I have the collector's box back there. That was the first G Fuel tub I've ever got. So I do have some nostalgic memories with golden apple pear. I love that flavor. Too bad they discontinued it. Yeah, like I just love the apple flavor, the hint of pear. Like, I like apple flavors. The regular green apple flavor should be good. If you couldn't tell already, it's the regular green apple flavor, but with like a sour kick. I don't know how they did it. So that's what we're gonna find out with a taste test. But uh, I usually love the apple flavors. They're always hits for me. So I think this is gonna be really good. And usually like prior to actually making the reviews myself, I sometimes watch the reviews and like see what people say like, oh, it tastes like this or it's like this, but uh, this time I actually didn't do it because like I decided to go into this completely blind without hearing what anyone thinks. So, so this review is going to be nothing but my true thoughts. I'm just warning you though, I might be a little biased because like I said before, I do like the apple flavor. So I don't know if that's going to like affect anything at all. So guys, I'm going to get my PewDiePie tall boy shaker. I'm going to put like two servings of this in there and uh, I'm going to go mix it up and get it ready. I'm sorry if I sound like tired or something because like I had a long day, I barely got any sleep, so I definitely needed this. I'm back, I shook it up for 45 seconds. I got the water, the ice, the sour green apple G fuel, and the color, it's pretty much what you would expect. So nothing crazy, just a nice green color. I really have nothing else to say, so 
I think we should try it, but you know what, before we actually do though, let's just talk about some of the other sour flavors. Like I've had all of them. I don't have tubs of all of them. I've had a uh, packet of the first sour flavor, sour cherry. It's okay, I had like it once or twice and it really wasn't anything crazy. I mean, it was just meh, it was kind of a boring flavor. I had the the next sour flavor that dropped. I It's one of my favorite flavors, sour blue chug rug. That's an amazing flavor. Everyone loves sour blue chug rug. Then we got a Twitch flavor, sour pixel potion. It's vaulted, you can't get it anymore, but that was a sour grape and I didn't think I'd like it because like I'm not a big fan of the grape G Fuel stuff like they're not the best but it wasn't terrible it was it, it was it was decent it wasn't bad but it wasn't great either it was like okay and uh and almost a year ago we got sour phase berry which is probably the best sour flavor like i really don't know what's better that or sour blue chug rug they're both good sour blue chug rug is more of a sour blue raspberry and phase berry is more like a sour fruity flavor kind of like the original phase berry so those are my two favorite sour flavors will this beat them both i have no idea i guess we'll find out right now since i'm ready to try it so first let's just take a smell it's what i expect it's that green apple smell you pretty much get with green apple uh golden apple pear so it's not that much of a surprise still a really good smell though and like i said with my uh first g fuel tub get some nostalgic memories so uh you know what, guys, I'm ready. So guys, without further ado, we're gonna be trying Sour Shamrock or Sour Green Apple, really. In three, two, one. Oh my God. Right off the bat, you get hit with like a really good green apple flavor. And then you get hit with like a little sour kick. Like, it's not that bad because there are flavors like the Twitch flavor, Sour Pixel Potion, uh, really sour. But like, this isn't as sour, but like you could definitely notice the sour kick is there when you drink it, the aftertaste. So like, honestly, I think in terms of being sour, they perfected it. Sometimes I'd even have sour blue chug rug and I'd think to myself, oh, this is a little too sour. I wish I could have like a little, like a little bit of a more subtle flavor. Like this really isn't too sour. So like, if you don't like sour stuff, like this really won't bother you that much. Here's what I get when I drink it. Green apple, a nice green apple flavor, not too light, not too strong, perfect. And a perfect sour kick. <sighs> wow, this is really good. Honestly, like, this is exactly what I wanted. Like, this could be a daily, I don't know, but like, this is just a really good flavor. It's honestly great. I love it. You drink it, you get a nice flavor kick. Like, it's spot on. Like, with what they're trying to do, it's literally spot on. Oh my God. This is great. Like, this is really great. I have my final rating ready. Like, I think this is a really great flavor. The flavor's perfect. The sourness is perfect. Like, everything's spot on. I don't know if it's a daily, though. But as an actual flavor, though, like, they nailed everything. Like, and especially going for a sour green apple flavor. Like, everything they try to do, like... I feel like they did it like successfully. Like, I don't know if there's anything I'd give them feedback on. Cause like, I don't think there's anything to really improve on. Cause like, like I said, the flavor's perfect. It's not too sour. It's not like, it's not to the point where you can't really notice the sourness at all. Like everything's balanced perfectly. So I, I think this is literally just spot on. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like. It's almost perfect. Not a perfect G Fuel flavor, but what for what they're trying to accomplish, I think this is perfect. Overall, as an actual flavor, if you like flavors like Sour Phase, Berry, Sour Blue Chug Rug, you're going to love this because it's definitely up there. Sour Cherry and Sour Pixel Potion aren't that great, but this is definitely up there. It might even say it almost might be better, but... uh yeah like this is this is just really great if you like fruity flavors if you like apples especially 
definitely get this. You're gonna love it, especially like if you're a huge Apple fan, you're, you're really gonna like this. If you don't like apples, I don't know if I'd recommend you trying this, but if you want like a sour flavor, but like I just said, you don't like apples, I'd recommend something more like Phase Berry, uh, Blue Chug Rug. I'd recommend one of those flavors, but if you're an apple fan or, or you just want to try something new, I'd definitely recommend this because this is really great. That's why I'm giving Sour Shamrock an 8.5 out of 10. This is a really good flavor. I definitely recommend it. And I really enjoyed it. I think you guys would too if you tried it, if you like apples. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.